lots of good features, lots of things that will be great for SPO. So do that now. Now, alongside uh, these more immediate changes, and of course, heading into the uh, the June Vasil hard fork combinator event, there's also another longer term project, uh, the UTXO on disk storage initiative. I caught up with Jack, the product manager for that, to hear more. So Jack, as a project manager within the core Cardano team, a lot of your focus is around the node, consensus, and of course, the ledger. Perhaps we can start by giving our viewers a bit of an overview of what the UTXO HD project is. So the UTXO HD initiative is a complex project that is focusing on taking large parts of the ledger state from being kept in memory to a non-disk solution. The Cardano node keeps its ledger state of transactions within volatile memory. And as Cardano continues to scale and grow with users and transactions, uh, the maintainability and sustainability of the ledger state is, is very important. And so to do this, it requires developing and integrating new infrastructure within the ledger and the consensus layers. Uh, and this will enable large parts of the ledger state to be kept on disk. So for those folks who aren't quite sure what UTXO is exactly, Jack, can you explain that to us? Cardano uses unspent transaction outputs. Think of a cash-like model similar to Bitcoin rather than an account-based model like Ethereum. With smart contracts, we have developed what is known as the extended UTXO, which enables the functionality of Plutus scripts and complex arbitrary logic. Think of datums and the redeemers. And so as the network activity grows, so does the growth of UTXOs. Um, so it's important for us to focus on the resource requirements of the node, and they need to remain reasonable so that nodes running on end user systems and machines with Daedalus can maintain a smooth user experience as the network continues to scale. So that's really interesting. What's the progress been like so far? So far, we've added uh, new efficient data structures, and uh, these new data structures were in place as of version 1.33. These new data structures change how we compact, share, serialize, and deserialize data, and how we store UTXOs. And these changes will reduce memory usage and make data structures more efficient for storage and transport over the network. The implementation of the new data structures has actually given us about 40% savings in memory in a running node. And we've also included RTS flags in version 4.8.0. And these RTS flags are really for those low spec users, folks who have less than 16 gigs of RAM on their machine. So users who download the latest version of Daedalus will notice a splash page asking if they would like to enable these RTS flags for a smoother, more efficient user experience. An example of these improvements are improvements in chain replay, sync process, uh, full sync, and stopping the Cardano node. Great, now what does the first release entail? So the initial implementation is our MVP, an on-disk storage component that we will include that has an in-memory backend via feature flag. And this enables users with enough memory to keep the entire UTXO set in memory for better performance. And this is critical for stake pool operators because they are on the critical path of block propagation. It's important because we need them to mint, validate, and send blocks to their peers as, as quickly as possible. So in turn, those peers can extend the chain upon the previously minted block that they received. In terms of SPO usage, a performance advantage is always received from running on the fastest possible storage mechanism. And in this case, that's RAM. And what can we expect from the full release? So the engineering team is currently focused on the MVP, but a more performant iteration of that is also uh, to be expected very soon. This enhanced version of UTXO HD will transition away from using LMDB and move to a completely bespoke log structure merge tree. LSM trees are one of the most performant data structures for use by applications like the Cardano node, uh, where we have a blockchain that demands a large number of writes. And so um, LSM trees are data structures that are also widely used for write optimized key value stores. So this is really important. You can take Bitcoin as an example. Bitcoin uses LSM trees as the main mechanism of storing its UTXOs. And what are some of the benefits of that tree structure? So append only writes, a cheap snapshotting mechanism, a cheap rollback mechanism, and efficient monoidal update operations. Our team anticipates the initial release of UTXO HD within quarter two 
of this year and the full spec release in the latter half of 2022. I also want to give a huge shout out to our engineering team, the consensus, ledger, benchmarking, QA teams. Everyone's been doing a tremendous job getting this across the line. And we're super excited to getting this out to the public. So uh, just a huge shout out to the, all the incredible work that, that they're doing right now.